flag bearers up to the parish level. We really, we give them something, but uh, that facilitation is actually very minimal compared to what they use. In a 21st December 2020 circular sent to the district party chairpersons, NRM Secretary General Justin Kasule Lumumba says the money is strictly for logistics and materials for campaigns, with the beneficiaries first getting around half of the allocation. The party says candidates will be given money as follows. Directly elected MP, 40 million shillings. District woman MP, 50 million shillings. National MPs for special interest groups, 80 million shillings. And regional youth MPs, 60 million shillings. The category will also get an additional 3 million shillings reimbursement for money spent on nomination. At local government level, flag bearers for city mayor get 60 million shillings, district chairperson 50 million shillings, directly elected district councillors 1 million shillings, and district councillors for special interest groups 1.5 million shillings. At municipal or city divisional level, party candidates for chairperson get 20 million shillings, directly elected councillors 500,000 shillings, and councillors for special interest groups 1 million shillings, while at sub-county level, LC3 chairperson flag bearers get 1 million shillings, and NRM candidates for councillor 100,000 shillings, and all to get back 20,000 shillings used for nomination. According to the party, the money is already in the district accounts, awaiting disbursement to candidates upon completion of the required paperwork. No, no, the only thing that I can remember vividly is that we used like 21 billion shillings to facilitate our meetings in the villages because we, we sent 300,000 shillings per village. But also we sent also some facilitation, the district, but also very minimal, and the parish, and even the sub-county because our campaigns have been based on the village level. With the members of parliament, it's very easy to calculate. Explaining the sources of the monies, NRM vice chairperson representing Buganda region to the party's topmost decision-making organ, Godfrey Chwanda Sovi, said on top of membership contributions, remittances by MPs and funding from government, the party receives money from anonymous donors who he said contribute as much as 10 billion shillings. But at, at the same time, we have a lot of money that we have sent, and we have a lot of money. Godfrey Chwanda Suvi says the last half of the money will be sent during the last days of campaigning. Actually the first money was to help them to mobilize, but we have to pay them the last bit of it just to help them to, uh, to, for the proper finishing, especially on the agents, the polling agents. We don't need our candidates to be stuck. Presidential and parliamentary elections are scheduled for 14th of January 2020 and 20th the same month for election for local government positions. Edward Muhumza, NTV.